John Malos. Welcome to Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno, Comcast 187 and 43.6. On the program today, a very serious topic. We'll be talking and addressing the Armenian Genocide, 97 years in the making. That's right, the anniversary is coming up on April the 24th. We'll be talking to the principal of the Armenian School right here in Fresno, coming up on Connect With Me. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Malos. On this Wednesday morning, live from the showroom floor of Ventura TV, and you are watching us on Comcast 187 and 43.6. And you can call the number if you want to call in on today's program. It's 559-265-4331. You can also check us on Facebook and Twitter. Don't have the Ustream and the email up and working yet, but we will shortly. In the meantime, there is your graphic for the Connect With Me uh, people, Facebook and Twitter, your number 265-4331. Uh, let's light up the phones and ask some questions because a very serious topic on this day. We're talking about the Armenian Genocide, but first we want to get to the Arme uh, the uh, Charlie Kean Armenian Community School right here in Fresno. It's located on Villa, just off of Herndon. Let's roll a videotape and check it out right now. The principal at the Armenian school is Zar Der Mugardijian. Now, she addressed the uh, students in the cafeteria yesterday, and I was there and had the pleasure of meeting her and talking to her and uh, talking to some of the children. And there is Zar Der Mugardijian. She's the principal. That is the cafeteria. They also had a book fair going on there at the very same time that the uh, children were there eating. Now, this is a school that's been around for the better part of 37 years, part of the culture of this community, the fabric of this community. It hasn't been in the same location for 37 years, only about four years or so. But the Charlie Keen Armenian Community School has about 97 students. It's uh, pre-K through the sixth grade. There are some of the students right there in Robin Mackay's uh, sixth grade class, or is it the fifth grade? I believe it's the fifth, fifth, fifth and sixth grade right there. This school is really, it's a private school, and it's about $4,100 a year to, to have your child go there, and it's, a, it's an outstanding curriculum. It's like any normal school. They also have church activities. They learn uh, about religion. There is Robin there, the fifth and sixth grade teacher, and they do daily Armenian language and culture classes. They have music lessons. They have outdoor activities like tetherball, softball, soccer. And it is just an outstanding school for the youngsters. There they are playing softball and soccer out in the yard yesterday. So when we come back, we're going to be talking to the principal, Zar Der Mugardijian. She is the principal, a former teacher at Fresno Unified. We're also going to address the Armenian Genocide because it is 97 years. The um, anniversary is coming up on Tuesday, April the 24th. That was the start of the Armenian Genocide. Our conversation with Zar continues or will start in just a moment here on MeTV Fresno. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back. It is Arts and Culture Day here on the show. Connect with me on MeTV, Comcast 187 and 43.6. And I'm very pleased to call in Zar Der Mugardijian. See, Hi. I got your name right. That's great. You That's a great, great name. Thank I appreciate you, you coming in. My pleasure. And My thank pleasure. you for letting me come by the school and 
meet some of the people there yesterday. We were, uh, we were very pleased to have you come by. Thank you very much. Right. Tell, did I leave something out in describing the school a few moments ago? I think we could probably say, you did say we teach normal curriculum. We always right. we always teach to the standards, the California state standards. Right. We have also an excellent music program in the sense of choral music once a week. All students learn to sing as well as to play a musical instrument with our band teacher. You learn about the Armenian heritage though as well. Absolutely. And the culture yes. and uh, the church is also involved in that, right? Yes, we do have Christian education classes once a week also. Right, and how does that work out? Pretty good? Do the kids enjoy it? They are really on track. I am so excited. <laughs> I like to visit our classes. It's my job to visit, of course, but I always see the children on track doing what they're supposed to. And if you ask them, we took a survey and the kids love it. You are such a pleasant young lady oh, and, you. and very soft-spoken, very intelligent, but are you a um, hardcore disciplinarian? Uh, as a principal, do you do you crack down when you have to? Uh, I do. I, I, I have a motto. I like to be fair, firm, and fun. And uh, when <laughs> In that they, order? In that, in that <laughs> order. I think it's very important to be respectful of the kids, but yet to be firm when I need to be. And to have fun is ultimately how you learn, too. So when, if, and I, and I keep a log, and very few kids are sent to the office, but if they do, we need to take care of their problem. Uh, I got a sense you don't have too many problems over there. Not they seem too many. very well behaved. And okay, the cost, we're talking about the cost. Right. It's like going to Catholic school, basically, right? I, I mean, believe it's 4,100 so. bucks a year yes. per child. Yes. Okay. It's and really not too, it's not on the top end of the scale, actually. What's the advantage? If someone were to come to you, mm -hmm. Zara, and say, okay, I'm thinking about sending my child there, but what's right. the advantage of coming to your school as opposed to public school? I would say that because our class sizes are very small, our largest class has 16 students. Teachers are able to really work with each of the children, give them um, individual attention when necessary. We have um, excellent facilities. We um, have those added things, music, everybody gets music, <laughs> both choral, we have the Armenian language as an uh, additional bonus. Do they all learn the Armenian language? Yes. They all have, is that a requirement? It's part of the curriculum. Uh -huh. The teachers, the Armenian teachers come in for 45 minutes each day. Mm -hmm. So it is just a normal part of the routine. So your answer would be to a, to a parent about a potential student mm -hmm. coming in, you're gonna get more one-on-one -on -one attention at our right. school and you're gonna learn a lot about culture and mm -hmm. arts and Absolutely. entertainment. Absolutely. Is that is that pretty? Did I pretty much I cover it? I think you did. That I think you should be our uh, spokesperson. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll talk about great. that later. Okay. But 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 anyway, the class size is a right. big factor, is it not? It is because we know in the public schools, with the budget crunches and the financial difficulties, the class sizes have really grown, over thirty kids in a classroom, and that's hard. I I've been a classroom teacher, and I've had when we've had our kindergarten classes be reduced to 20 mm -hmm. and I also had one point had 38 students in kindergarten so I've seen what that can mean to a teacher you it's very difficult to give all the attention necessary are your standards different than public schools no they're not in terms no. of wanting to be a teacher at your school are the standards different no I, I look for credential teachers okay. to come and teach and they are Right, and they have to be qualified. They've Absolutely. got to have a credential. Mm -hmm. They need the experience. Do you, mm -hmm. do you do you hire teachers that maybe are first, they're starting yes, out? Yes, of or? course we do, of okay. course. We go through an interview process. We have parents, teachers, and myself on the panel, and uh, we interview, and we choose the best qualified candidate for the position. Right, and the teachers seem uh, very happy there, at least the ones I saw. I think so. They I don't hope look so. too stressed like they do in public <laughs> schools. I mean, well, I, I I agree yeah. with you. I agree. I, we the may not. The stress factor is not there, right? Not the same way. Not because you don't have that number of students that you have to be dealing with. You've got people, a good support staff, and I believe the morale is high. I want to ask you because, and let's dive into your background just a little bit. Okay. You're born and raised in Fresno. Your parents? In Fresno. From here, mm -hmm. okay. And you taught at Fresno Unified for I the have. better part of 37 
years. Right. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> 37 years she taught at Fresno Unified. I did. And I want to ask you kind of a hot button issue because Fresno Unified is all over the news all the time with the right. truancy, with, I, I don't know, are, is, it, is it safe to ask the question, are they failing in educating our children in Fresno Unified? That's the question I have. No, from my perspective, I would say every teacher that I ever worked with was working so hard to make sure that the students are doing what they need to. Yeah. But it needs to be teamwork from parents, teachers, and students. And it seems like as they grow older, they're not making what they need to. They're not reaching the goals. But at the top, right. it's not necessarily the teachers. It are the, is the administration failing in helping educate the children, do you think? Sometimes they seem to, in my opinion go to extremes in the philosophies they choose and then they move and they change 10 years later to the same <laughs> philosophy that we had because over 37 and a half years I saw a lot of shifts. The lack of consistency yes. is what you're saying. Yeah, right. they're not staying true to what students need to learn the best and how teachers can do that. All right, aside from being a teacher and your parents and you were both born in Fresno, your right. ancestry, they, they come from Armenia, is that correct? That is correct. All right, and yes. uh, you were talking about this earlier. Expand on it just a little bit. We have a little bit of time. Uh, you come from a long history of having people in your family who were priests. That's right, that's right. How many? I believe looking at our family tree, we've had five priests in the family. Amazing. Right. Wow. Well, we're going to continue our conversation. In fact, we want to touch on the anniversary coming up, April 24th, of, of the Armenian Genocide, 97 years. It's hard That's to right. believe. Uh, 1915 is when it all began. We'll continue our conversation here on Connect With Me. You're watching us live from the showroom floor at Ventura TV, Comcast 187 and 43.6. Back in a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Malos, live here on Comcast 187 and 43.6. This morning, I have the very big pleasure of talking to the principal of the Charlie Kean Armenian Community School right here in Fresno. It's located right on Villa, just off of Herndon, and the principal of that school is a very nice lady. She's here live with us here in the studio, Zar Dermugradijian. And you know, I said that twice now, and I didn't blow it. No, you haven't. <laughs> I, I know you'll keep that in your mind forever now. I, I know. I, I'm going to go to sleep tonight thinking that name. But anyway, I, I, I do want to talk to you about the Armenian Genocide that's coming up, the anniversary, April 24th, yes. 97 years. Uh, I shot some video yesterday of the uh, portable memorial that you have at the Armenian school. Let's take right. a look at that. If you can roll that tape, uh, Alex. Uh, I shot some video here yesterday. There you are arranging the flowers. Go ahead and, and talk about this memorial if you would, Zar. This actual memorial is uh, called Zizer Nagapert, or the Fortress of the Swallows. It's located in Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. It's a quite a huge monument, and on April 24th each year, thousands, literally tens of thousands of people walk up the hill all day long to lay flowers um, at this memorial. There's an eternal flame in the middle of it and the flowers by the end of the evening are about four feet tall around the whole eternal flame section. There's the number 97 representing 97 years coming right. up next Tuesday. Now, 97 years, April 24th, explain what April 24th means. That was the start of the genocide, is that correct? That is correct. On April 24th, the order was given by the Turkish government to round up Armenian intellectuals, whether they were businessmen, artists, priests, those people who had some leadership potentials or were in the leadership. Now, what are we looking at here? These are the children. You've got uh, eight yes. classrooms in all. We do. These are our classrooms. The students are just coming in from uh, lunch recess, it looks like. Mm -hmm. So they're lining up. And these were the kindergarten students. They made some posters for the April 24th uh, Now, activities. this memorial that, that, that we're looking at here, was that made by the students? 
No, I believe uh, the teachers did the that. The teachers mm -hmm. actually made yes. that memorial. Yes, they have. Okay, I, want, I do want to talk about a little bit about the genocide, and we do have some video. Our uh, executive producer, Ara Kachatorian, has, has pulled some Great. of the, the generic video uh, from the Internet, and it's, it's, it's been widely seen and, and reported, but I, I do have to mention uh, it is graphic in nature. It is. Very disturbing. It's very real, and it is disturbing. Let's take a look at that video and you can describe uh, the genocide. 1.5 million Armenians were slaughtered starting in 1915, is that correct? Correct, that okay. is correct. And here we're looking at some of the video. Uh, are. Very shocking and alarming. Uh, and of course, uh, the anniversary coming up on April the 24th, and on that date 97 years ago, like you said just moments ago, about 250 Armenian intellectuals were simply rounded up along with community leaders in Constantinople and the, these are, we're looking at the marches right there, is that correct? That's correct and this is what my grandparents went through. My grandmother from Tokat, um, one morning they came, the soldiers came, this is your time to leave so get out of your house and they took them in and uh, my grandfather was killed and my great-grandmother and my grandmother who was a little girl were sent to march through to the south, to the desert, for hundreds of miles. Hundreds of miles through what is now known as Syria. No food, mm -hmm. no water. Right. Uh, they were tortured, they were murdered, men, women, children. Uh, of course, this all happened during and after World War I, right. uh, 1915, and it was the, the first modern-day genocide, as we know it in the 20th century, is that correct? It is absolutely been noted as that. There's no question, there's no historical problem with saying that, that is the truth. Now, what are we looking at here? Some desecrated uh, Christian sites uh, in Constantinople, I believe. It's throughout Turkey. These, right. these um, churches are all throughout Turkey, and. I've gone to visit and at this point in time basically all of them, you can see some bullet shots there, they've mm -hmm. been turned into um, no museums, they've been turned into mosques some of them, some of them mm -hmm. have been desecrated by being storage places. Remarkably so, only 20 countries across the world have really recognized the Armenian Genocide. That's true. I find that so hard to believe. The United States uh, does not recognize it, Turkey certainly will not admit any wrongdoing. Right. Why do you think that is after so many years? I mean, we're, we're, we're coming up on a hundred years here, the century mark. Well, I think we're still entrenched in old thinking, in very stultified thinking, and um, the Turks don't want to admit because once you admit, then there are going to be some consequences, just as they saw how Germany did agree to what had happened to the Jews. And the United States, in my opinion, is um, very much afraid that of losing the Turkish backing where the bases are. So we right. Turkey is our ally. Yes. We have a lot of military yes. bases there. We do. Um, now, when Congressman, former Congressman George Radonovich was in office, he made an effort to get it through, mm -hmm. but it it never made it to the president's desk. I, I do not believe. No, there's a lot of strong lobbyists. Turkey pays a lot of people off in many different ways, and. Um, those people are voting and eventually it gets killed. Do you, how many relatives in all, all told, that, that you lost in, in the genocide? Well, everybody besides my great-grandmother and my grandmother on my mother's side were lost. And then on my father's side, um, my grandfather and grandmother came out a little bit earlier than the genocide, but they walked to uh, Russia and took the train and came through Japan and everybody else in their family was lost. All right, out at the Armenian school on Tuesday on the 24th, which is the anniversary, will you have any kind of special ceremony taking place there? Actually on the 24th, uh, our students have the day off to commemorate. They will be going to Fresno State at noon. They have a comm commemoration service and the students will be singing some songs there. But on the 23rd, on Monday, we will have a special assembly and we will have a speaker speaking about the genocide, and then the students will march um, through the, and next to the memorial and lay flowers. And I've done a special project this year. I've made a timeline along our side fence, and uh, it notes where 1915 is, and we're gonna plant some red, orange, and blue flowers. Each child, since we have 97 students, mm -hmm. each child will plant one flower to commemorate this event. 
Now, quickly, do you teach the genocide and what happened to the students at the school? Yes, we do. And how do they react to it? They have stories. Luckily, you know, their families have told of who they have lost so that we can continue to remember. It's not that we will hate, but we need to remember our relatives that got killed. Okay, we certainly do. Can you stick around? Come back. We got a commercial sure. to do. Czar Derimugger Dijian is the principal at the Armenian uh, Kian Armenian Community School here in Fresno. It's been around for 35 years. We're going to continue our conversation, but first we got to take a quick time out. You're watching Connect with Me on Me TV, Comcast 187 and 43.6. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brand's reliable advice place. The Frigidaire Gallery Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. You with me? Right now, get huge savings on select Frigidaire Gallery appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price Think Outside the Big Box Place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. I'm asking you about a murder. Solving Me TV mysteries requires a rumpled coat. I'm gonna write that down. A keen eye. It's a terrific puzzle. And... Oh, one more thing, sir. Uh, oh, one more thing, sir. Uh, oh, just one more thing, sir. Uh, just one more thing, sir. Just one more thing, please. Columbo always has one more thing. The time. Sundays at 8, 7 Central on Me TV. We'll all stay in touch. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brand's reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. Check this out. Right now, get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Malos on the showroom floor here at Ventura TV. And we're here with Hector Coronado, a special Maytag deal. This is an exclusive Ventura television special, a washer and a dryer. Tell me about both of them, if you would, Hector. Start with the washer first. Uh, this is the Maytag High Efficiency Top Load Washer. So what that means to you is that you're going to be able to wash a lot more laundry with a lot less water. All right. And I see by looking at it's got a glass top. No agitator inside. So how does it get the clothes clean? Uh, what's down there, it's called the hydro plate. So that took the replacement of the uh, agitator. So what it, that, that does, it does bubbles of water. It pushes the laundry down. So it gives it a gentle wash when, when you're doing the laundry so it doesn't beat up the laundry and you don't find that lint in the lint trap of your clothes. Okay, does it get the clothes clean? That's what I want to know. <laughs> it does. It does a great job on the laundry. It gets the clothes really clean. It just doesn't damage them. That's the that's the key. It's a gentle wash, so it doesn't beat up the laundry. It doesn't take the colors away from the laundry. It's a great, great, great unit. All right, walk over here with me and, and t tell me about this dryer. You might want to open it up. Sure. This is a 7.0 dryer. So what that means to you is when you've got that big load that you did in your washer, you've got plenty of space. Uh, there's another feature in here that's called a sensor dry. What is that? Sensor dry, it allows you to dry the laundry, especially the thin laundry, and it doesn't over dry the laundry, and the unit turns off when it's done. So when it comes to that thin laundry, you want to do sensor dry because it turns off the unit when your laundry is complete. Is there like a little mist that goes on in there? Uh, not this guy here. Not this not this guy. I'm thinking of something else. Yes, yes. No, no this is your standard uh, dryer, but it's a really good unit. It's a great set when you match it up. Right. And this is, as I said, a Ventura TV exclusive right here with this washer and dryer. And what are you talking about in terms of price, Hector? Uh, the price on this unit that we usually have it at is at $1,049. Right now our special is at $999. And for our viewers out there, the, the special that we have from today till tomorrow is we're going to give you free installation and uh, all the hookup materials to install it correctly in your home. For $999 yes. until good through tomorrow at noon for our Connect With Me viewers. Exactly. All right. Now, when we say this is an exclusive uh, offer from Ventura TV, that means no one else in town not has yet. this washer and dryer. No, not yet. This is exclusive for us only. Just like the big box stores, they get their exclusives. We get ours. And this is the one that we're presenting right now, which is going to be available you know, until we run out and people are constantly calling in on this unit. A lot of people like it because you still have your standard buttons on your control panel, which right. is a great deal. Right. And quickly, how does Ventura TV do this day in and day out? 
you know, I think it has a lot to do with our buying power. We've been here a long time. Uh, people come in, they see great prices. You know, that, that makes a big win. And great salespeople, too. Thanks, Hector. <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> All right. Hector Coronado, thank you very much. And we're going to continue. By the way, Ventura TV lo uh, located 10 minutes from River Park, 10 minutes from Clovis, right off the 41. Back with more of Connect With Me in just a moment. From the comic book to the TV screen. Better let us handle this. The dynamic duo comes to life on MeTV. How right you are. It's Batman. B-A-T-M-A-N. Fighting foes with fearsome faces. Batman. Oh, dear me, yes. Batman, Saturdays at 7, 6 Central on MeTV. Hooray for me! Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low-priced, leading brand's reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today place. Check this out. Right now, get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Mallows, live here on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on Comcast 187 and 43.6. We are going to continue our conversation with Zar Dare Mugardijan. She's the principal at the Charlie Keen Armenian Community School here in Fresno. You've been around 35 years. I want to ask you quickly, uh, coming up on this anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, what should the people of this community, Armenian or not, right think about and remember about the Armenian Genocide. What, what should we get out of it? Uh, we all think of the Jewish Holocaust. Sure. We think of the Armenian Genocide, of course. Mm -hmm. what, what can we learn from these, these, what lessons can we learn, I guess? Well, to me, the basic lesson would be that we know that people can do cruel things to others, but we should be giving accountability to them so that they can't get away with it. And since the Armenian Genocide was the first, and we should be remembering all those, whether it's in Darfur, whether it's in Cambodia, whether it's the, the Jewish experience, that we need to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, we tend to forget what happened in Cambodia, too, uh, back during the Vietnam War, or shortly thereafter right. with Pol Pot. Uh, another uh, genocide took place there, of course. There's, there's no question about it. And I ask you a very sensitive question. I, I don't know if you can answer this or not, but it, it's difficult, even as me. I mean, being Christian, we're supposed to forgive, mm -hmm. maybe not forget. It's pretty tough to forgive, isn't it, in a case like this? It is. It's, I mean, it's happened to my own family members, people that I knew, that I grew up with, and I could see that they've been hurt and gone through terrible experiences. So yes, it is. And you can see the hurt in, in the Armenian families here in Fresno, even for those who, who did not lose loved ones in the genocide. It, I it, think so. it cuts deep. It does, it does. It, it makes an imprint, I think, on your psyche. Right. Well, if you want to be a part of the um, Charlie Kean uh, Armenian Community School, uh, people should call what number? 233-1955. Okay, I appreciate it. Zar Dare Mugardijian, thank you very nice much for your time. All right, we'll talk to you later. And we are going to be back tomorrow, of course, with more of Connect With Me here on MeTV Fresno. I'm John Malos. You're watching us live on Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6. And don't forget, we got the replay tonight in case you missed our show. A very important one talking about the Armenian community and the Armenian school. 7.30 tonight is the replay. Set, set your VCRs or TiVo it or whatever, whatever you want to do. We're back with more of the show tomorrow. Tonight I want to discuss the importance of the television medium to the American people. I'm Lou Grant. Mary asked me to do a promo for MeTV. You want to see me, Lou? Not now, Ted.
Watch me on Danish donuts. I said not now, Ted. Watch me on me, me TV. You don't like me? I'll fire you. Watch Mary Tyler Moore. I'll fire you. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV.